today we'll be figuring out when I'll be teaching you how to install Dolphin right here and play Mario Kart Wii or any other game for that matter this one really didn't need to be here but these two this one might, might be featured in the future but for now we have this one okay so let's get to it so first you have to go to your Google Chrome or whatever web browser you might use Microsoft Edge Opera Safari and simply go to your browser and look up Dolphin download in order to find the link that says download Dolphin emulator or and if you look at the link it'd be HTTPS Dolphin em emulator emu.org download and then you'll hit it and then you click on it it'll take you to this download you know, you might want a development version these are usually sometimes run the best this one is good but it doesn't run the best because there's some features that will cause the speed to be a little lower depending on your PC you want to download the most recent version which is 5.0-11102 they'll release one every couple hours so you'll just want to download the first one that's listed and Android's probably not related but Mac OS Windows I do not know how to install okay if you want to find out you can go down to link, link in Linux distributions and you just gotta do this into the, the get respiratory but if you're running Windows or Mac OS you'll click on the corresponding button on your newest version and it'll download it and if, as long as you have WinZip or whatever you use to extract your files you can click on it it'll open it what you're gonna do is extract the file straight to your maybe your documents folder or you can even get more more real with it and just be to the USB drive this PC local disk C program files and then new folder Dolphin master I'm actually a couple versions behind but I don't need it. but then you'll press ok and it'll you know get that going and you might want to go into the background and then look up download Mario Kart Wii and I can see this finished unzipping see it'll say all these but you'll want to go to Wii downloads I think this is the one I used I just want to go to Mario Kart Wii and hit download Mario Kart Wii NT NTSCU that's the American distribution and this one should work for you as long as you're otherwise you want to go to the European version which you might be able to find somewhere else I'll probably leave a link in the description if I can find a valuable one but yeah, bluerums.weebly.com slash weedownloads.html is the first option, Mario Kart Wii. And so you'll go to your Google Drive and hit download anyway. It'll show up down here and it's going to be quite a bit of, like, it's going to be quite a bit of files as you can see it's 2.8 gigabytes. So it definitely won't download very quickly. Might as well close all the other tabs to make sure it's downloaded at the right speed. And you could just wait for it to download. As you can clearly see, it's doing that. So now you can actually head over to your folder, and you can go into local disk, program files, or whatever you where you installed it. And I installed it in Dolphin X64, I believe. No, wait, this is not it. I might have installed it in. No, where did I put it? Where did I unzip it? Yeah, it was right here. I put it into my documents in Dolphin Master 5.0 11102-64-bit. What you're going to do now is all you're going to do is go through here. Send dolphin.exe to your desktop. And you'll have it. You can rename it to Dolphin, but I already have Dolphin here, an older version. So you can take that version and wait for the download to complete. So, I'll see you when the download's done. 
Okay, so now it's been downloaded, and as you can see, way up here, where that's not it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Mario Kart Wii NTC, NTSC U does zip. I believe if you open this up, oh wait, that's the ISO, but I'm pretty sure this one works too. All you gotta do now is extract the file. Let's just say documents. And make a new folder. Actually, I have a, I already have a ROMs folder in downloads. So I just go ROMs and then let it extract for however long it might take. Background. And so you just wait for it to extract. It says seven percent done. Yeah, it's slowly progressing as you can clearly see. I I actually not using this, I'm using just Mario Kart Wii dot RAR, which is a completely different file, but I don't remember exactly where I got it from. If you want that file specifically, you work it's I'm pretty sure it's the exact same. Then you can find it in the description below. I'll also link. I'll make. Every, I'll put every link in the description below if you don't feel like looking for the file itself. And now we'll just wait for the next 25%, which is only about 15 seconds. We're good. And as it completes, you want to check out Dolphin once it's about 95%, or just wait till it's finished. Now that it's finished, you go to Dolphin. And you can see there's two more Kirby's. I already have, this is my, if it says compress ISO, you know it's your ISO file. But now if you want to play it, then you have to go to controllers. Most people use standard controller and GameCube controller, but it depends on the kind of controller you're programming. And if, in the next, in a different tutorial, I'll do how to set up actual Wii remotes. I just figured it out recently. But I usually use GameCube controllers. And so what you're going to do is going to find, if you're setting up keyboard and mouse, I'm not sure how to do that for you, but it usually use an Xbox gamepad. You'd have to just program them to about the same control stick as left stick, C sticks, right stick, and it's about the same. And then, now what you want to do is play Mario Kart. And it loads up. I don't have my controller currently plugged in, but if I do plug it in right now, then... Then you should be able to start the game. I have my full unlocks in the other account. Apparently this is the wrong one. But yeah. But I have all the things unlocked. Now, if you want to get out, you press escape on your keyboard. And you can... Let's see, this one says... Yeah, this one's the ISO. This one's also a different one. But whichever one you use, they both should work. And apparently, the cheats that you you can use, or your save files spread across both the ISO and the, and that one. I can close the Put over. And... My cheats, like my my speed cheats, should as well. Yeah, but there you go. If you want to know how to program your controls correctly, then now now I have my controller plugged in. I'll just go X input zero gamepad. That's your player one. If you look at your Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One controller, but you can just go. Believe there is. Oh, there's not. But see, you can press buttons. See, if you're if there's a button, then they bold. And D-pad, yeah, any button bolts, but then it shows up here. Yeah, I'm just calibrating it right now.
Yeah, over there. For some reason, my Xbox 360 Rubble isn't working. I know it's something to do with it. But, yeah. And you can set up multiple controllers. No, I can technically control two people. But, yeah. You can do that. And if that was enough, I'll see you in the next video.